Hey, yo, Dream Team. Welcome back to the channel. So I finally got it. I was finally able to secure the new sidearm from Trials. And what a better time to have an adept sidearm than in this special ammo economy nerfed of a meta. A little lore on old collateral dreams here. I used to main sidearms back when I came back to Destiny 2 PvP. My loadout was a 340 pulse rifle called Denial and a three burst sidearm, The Last Dance. I was not very confident when it came to using shotguns and I tend to die quite a bit when engaging in firefights up close. So with my lack of skill with shotguns and my lack of confidence, I grew to like sidearms because I could keep a distance. And this was in the pre-nerf Fell Winter's Lie error of Destiny 2 PvP. Back when I didn't even know how to get a Fell Winter's Lie because I had no idea there was a exotic kiosk at the tower. So with fresh doe eyes, sidearms were king. How wrong I was. So when season 17 dropped and I saw that the Trials was offering a new sidearms, I grew a little nostalgic and I was excited to try and get my hands on the forgiveness week one came around and uh, for some reason then one of the new weapons was not offered it was the Aisha's embrace sure but I had hoped that maybe just maybe I could secure a forgiveness from the light tower chest I was unable to secure that so I had to wait for week two and lo and behold week two offered the adept weapon as a reward these are the roles I will be reviewing So let's take a look at the Forgiveness. Now a new sidearm being introduced into the Destiny 2 PvP economy, you probably would have thought there was no better time, considering how the special ammo economy has been nerfed and shotguns have practically no range anymore. So sidearms looked promising. So what do I think of the new sidearm? Meh. I expected that I was going to love this thing. In all honesty, the perks may not be the greatest, but it had some decently interesting roles. Probably one of the best being Killing Wind and Multi Kill Clip. You can also get a pairing of Moving Target and Rapid Hit, which which are one of my two favorite perks and typically are in the same column together. So that's unique. And for PVE, you can also get Adrenaline Junkie and Demolitionist together. And with Arc 3.0 coming next season, this might actually be a useful weapon. But we are not going to be rating or reviewing this weapon on the potential of how good it could be next season or three seasons from now. We are reviewing this weapon, how it performs right now. And I gotta say, like, I was just, I wasn't disappointed, but I wasn't impressed either. There were games where it felt like this weapon couldn't do shit. Then there were games where it felt like this weapon couldn't be stopped. Uh, it kind of had a black and white situation. It all also depended on how close my engagement were. There was one point that a opponent was able to rev up their fusion rifle before I could even finish him off. So I grew confused. Weapons got decent perks. The rolls that I'm using aren't that bad. Why do I feel like this weapon isn't just doing it for me? Why do I feel like this weapon is struggling a bit? If I got a kill, it was just by the hair of my health or my opponent wasn't paying attention. There were many times I thought I would finish the engagement with a win only to leave my opponent with a sliver of health and for him to end me with his hand cannon. Ultimately, that would be what I kind of rate this weapon as. It didn't disappoint me, but at the same time, it didn't impress me. For the PvP god roll, this is probably what I would go for. I like the high hand, higher handling. I like it being good in just neutral game. Moving target rapid hit is a unique combination. Slap on a range masterwork. Getting the damage fall off to 16.73 meters. You slap on a adept range mod and you bump that up to 1709 meters. If fluted barrel is not your go-to, if you prefer something else, small bore is fantastic to bump up stability and range. For PvE, this is the role I would go for. And this is another role I would be looking for. Killing Wind and Multi Kill Clip is a fantastic combination. Now, if you are not a Trials player or you do not like to play a lot of PvP content to get decently rolled weapons and you are looking for a alternative to this weapon or this sidearm, I have good news for you. 
The sidearm that was reintroduced this season, Drang, is probably much better than this weapon, even the Adept version. This is the role that I have been playing with. After Tuesday Reset, I was able to secure my final Drang red box and I crafted my Drang roll. And you can probably tell by the level of my Drang, it's not very high and I don't have amazing perks. So how did it perform? Well, actually much better than the forgiveness. Um, this was a weapon that I was quite surprised with. It blew my expectations out of the water. This weapon is more reliable in the PvP meta than my family is in real life. This gun is the friend that is willing to drive you to the airport and pick you up from the airport without you having to drop a dime on gas. There were plenty, and I mean plenty of times, that this gun got me kills that I didn't think I was going to get. For context, I am on controller and that definitely has an effect on the way this weapon performs. There'd be times where I'd be shooting somebody who was bobbing their head in and out of cover, dodging back and forth, hitting me, flinching me off shot, and this gun clutched the kill. So many times I would question if my internet was helping me or if my opponent's internet was not helping him. I highly recommend getting the red boxes, the five red boxes you need to craft this weapon because I think this gun could actually make it into the top tens for trials. I think if you use this weapon, you will be just as surprised as I was. This thing puts in work. And like I said, I don't even have a damn good roll for it. Just the very base crafted version of this gun was doing 10 times better than the rolls, the, the adept rolls that I had for the forgiveness. Now, if you don't have a good roll for this drang, for, for the randomly rolled drang, you don't have the red boxes, you're having a hard time getting the red boxes, and you're just looking for a sidearm to use right now, you can get a static rolled drang that is on the verge of being a god roll just out of your collections and this weapon performs just as well as the drang the only difference is, is that you, with the red boxes you're able to craft the exact roll you want slap on a bunch of range on your drang and you'll be able to map people farther than the static rolled drang can now as for the pvp god roll for the drang i love my sidearms to have the maximum amount of range this drang with 70 range has a damage fall off of 19.36 meters for neutral game i prefer moving target especially on controller i like the movement speed when i'm aiming down sight and for the final column, Rampage is my pick, and Rampage is my pick because a damage buff for this weapon will help out this already amazing time to kill weapon. If you're not feeling Rampage, you could also go with Swashbuckler, especially with the Solar 3.0 being a big deal this season, especially on Hunters. Eye of the Storm is also a fantastic perk, helping you to secure the kills the more your health goes down. If you don't like the negative effects of full bore, something like hammer forge rifling, because you will not lose too much damage fall off, full bore giving you a 19.36 meters and hammer forge giving you a 19.15 meters. And that is it for this video. Let me know if you guys got the new sidearm, the forgiveness, and let me know if you like it or don't like it. Hit me down below in the comments. And also do not forget to like, favorite, and subscribe because if you like video games and memes, you gotta subscribe to Collateral Dreams. I will catch you guys next time. Later.